to Rangers Insider from Nashville, Tennessee, and one of the hottest burger joints in town, at least according to our Tennessee native here, Zach Curtis, who throws for the sounds and who, without hesitation, suggested we meet here today. Right? No, this is the place to go. This is the the place that only Tennessee or Nashville people know about. I mean, it's like a hole in the wall, but it's some of the best food around. I know you were born in Panama City, Florida, uh, but you mentioned you spent your better years here in Tennessee. Walk me through that story. Yeah, so as I got from fifth grade on, just started hanging out with kind of the wrong kids. Um, it's a beach scene, so you can either get pulled one way or the other. Like I said, hanging out with the wrong people, doing the wrong things, and uh, it was my freshman year of high school. I was at Arnold High School on the beach, and, and it just sparked in my head of, if I don't leave this place, something is gonna be wrong. And I called my mom and I said, I'm leaving. And February 7th, I enrolled at Hendersonville High School and never looked back. Okay, so I'm curious then, not only how your new surroundings then saved you, essentially. Yeah. You didn't make your high school team as a freshman in Florida. So yeah. how did the return to baseball in Hendersonville kind of also help No, you? It, baseball saved me. The funny part was they introduced and they said, what position do you play, son? And I, so I said, I'm a left-handed catcher. No, you did not. Yes. And they said, no, son, you're not. <laughs> they said, go stand in right field. They probably didn't think anything of it. We uh, took infield, outfield, let hit it down into the corner, and I go to right field, I grab the ball, and I threw it in the air from right field by the fence all the way to third base. And he called me over, and I thought I was in trouble. He said, son, you're not a position player anymore either. He said, you're a pitcher. That's all you're ever going to be. Where they're, they're, and that's where it all came from. The pitcher was then born. Yeah. Hearing that story um, and how you mentioned baseball saved you, how much more special did that make getting drafted? Oh, it was awesome. I, I never even thought in my wildest dreams that I would have been drafted. Uh, I threw 85 when I left high school. And then when I graduated college, I was still throwing 91, 92. I just wasn't going to let anybody tell me I couldn't do it. And then how long were you in high A before the Diamondbacks came calling? Two and a half weeks, maybe, into the season. Wow. And my manager, J.R. House, shot me a text, and he said, uh, get back to the field. You're in trouble. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I'm in trouble. He said, I'm proud to say that you've been promoted. And I think <laughs> to myself, just heck, yeah, I'm going to Mobile, Alabama. And he said... I'll send you your flight out here in a second, go pack up. He said, you'll meet the team in Phoenix. Hold up. He said, you're not going to Mobile. And I sit there for a second. He said, you're a big leaguer. He said, you're going to the big leagues, kid. What's that debut day like? I didn't really think I was going to throw because I got there kind of late. No. Ninth inning rolls around, and my bullpen was atrocious. I probably didn't throw a single strike. I forgot to throw breaking balls because I was in such a rush. And I ran out there. Catcher still didn't know me. He said, hey, what do you throw? And I had to explain to him. He said, all right, here we go. Well, he's inherited a major league mess here in his big league debut. I threw two sliders in a row. What comes again? Another slider. Third pitch, throw it. Ground ball, Nick Ahmed, Gene Seguro, double play. I was out of there. Uh, Zach Curtis is a big leaguer. He gets the Diamondbacks out of a mess. Second year with this organization. I know you pitched a few games for the Rangers last season. What's it going to take? to get back to the big club. Consistency and not worry about uh, what's anybody thinking of me, then it'll it'll all be back. And it's, it'll, I know it's there. There's flashes of it, but there's also flashes of burgers. Uh, that's a burger. Of, of burgers? Yeah, with donuts. Of donut burgers? <laughs> yeah. Yes. If I could have this for every pregame meal, I think I would throw perfect games every time. <laughs> well, listen, I know what you want to do is finish that and I need to annihilate this one. Here's to a bright future to you, my friend Zach Curtis.